Hello, it's Filer, and in case you haven't already guessed, we'll be talking about the thing that is on my head in both my hands and is behind and in front of me and everywhere. These things are called structure blocks. They're a very handy tool for copying builds to be able to make things go really, really fast. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into today's episode. So, after I patch up this bit, we'll talk a bit about structure blocks, and I'll take the structure block off my head. Okay, so, how these guys work is, well first we'll view the interface. So, look in here, there's data mode. This is hard to use, this doesn't really make sense to ever use data mode, it takes way too long to try to use it and stuff. I'm not even going to explain this, find a different video if you want to know how to use data mode. It's just a waste of time. There's save mode, we're going to be talking about this, load, we're going to be talking about this, and corner. Talk about that, data, we're not doing anything with that. So. As you can see, if you look at my block, they change like texture when they go to each thing. So here's one that starts in data mode. And I hold up my hand, it looks different also. Here's one in save mode. There's one in load mode. And here's one in corner mode. They all look a bit different, so you can tell which one's which. Now, I'll start going over them. So, I'll, so pretty much. As if you don't know how these work, which most people don't, they are something that you can use to kind of copy and paste structure, or not just structure, anything you build. So it could be something naturally generating, like this village here, or it could be something I build, like that little structure block house thing over there. So I'll do a few examples. So let's start with something like this guy's house. So it's out front by the grass path. So I don't want to do that. I want to it in here so I like that we want to make sure that so right here it's sticking out by I think one block so make sure it hangs out all the sides so it gets everything in and we'll put it right about there I think. so we'll go to save mode and you type in a name of what you want to save this as so I don't know what will happen if you do this and if you type in a name that's already in Minecraft like if I say like crimson Stairs. That might be bad, so I'm not going to name it like that. I'm just going to call it. Um, also, if you try to do a capital letter, it won't work. Leather Worker House. There we go. We'll save as leather underscore worker underscore house. Okay, so we're going to just click done for now. Not going to hit any of those other buttons. And I'll want a tiny bit of a building block. So I just grab stone for now. So we can find out, we need to put a corner block on the exact opposite corner. So this is on the bottom of that corner, so we need to go to the opposite side, over here, and do at the highest point. So right off here, we're going to go out, that meets up right there, so, and also we're going to need to do it one block higher. So I think we should put it right there. Now you can, I, I like to do this to leave a bit of extra space, just to make sure we get the full structure in. And it will show something called a bounding box, I think I should do it one more block, okay. So show something called a bounding box after I do things with this. Okay, and this one, we're going to put into corner mode. So we have the same name. So leather worker. Leather worker is actually, I think, one word, but whatever. Leather worker house. We'll say done here. So corner mode. And then I'll put Minecraft colon in front of it, so then they'll, so Minecraft will be able to recognize it. It'll automatically do that, so you don't need to type that in. That one, it did it for me too. So now we're going to click detect. Okay, so we want to make sure also that show bounding box. Uh, never mind, that, that's only for loading it. Okay, so we'll put this there. Make sure that none of this is outside of this little box that appears on the house. So that's all good. That's sticking out an extra block, but it's okay. And that looks good to me. And I forgot to turn off the daylight cycle, so it's becoming nighttime. So now they have this saved. Or no, we don't quite have a save. So then we'll click save. It should appear down there. Right here in chat. Structure saved as Minecraft Leather Worker House. There we go. 
So, and let the worker still send two words, but it doesn't matter. So, now that we have this house, we can go somewhere else. It could be in a village, could not be in a village. And that cat reminded me of something I want to show you later, but I'll show it in a second. Then I'll put it on here, and I'll go to load mode. Now we type in the name that we saved it as, so... Leather Worker House. There we go. And then we'll say load once. And if you don't like the position, you can flip it like that. And then it will change. And if you're flipping it and you're spinning it, stuff, and you want to make sure it's in the right spot, don't click load again. Just hit done. So then if you can do that. Uh, not quite sure what those do. 180. 270 if you see in the background it's like kind of it's spinning on axis this but we'll keep it at zero degrees that's the direction it's supposed to be at done let me just type in a quick command so you can see a bit better there we go time set day okay so this is all good the other worker house are loaded right here it's not underground at all we'll click load again boom there it is i'm gonna smash that down put the andesite back Here's that copy of it it should be the exact same stuff in the chests like it keeps all NBT tags, like if the culture is filled, if the stuff, or actually soon culture and NBT tag, or that won't be an NBT tag for it to be filled, but whatever. Um, how about that? In a second, let me put a new culture inside since I broke the old one. The other, we should have the same stuff in the chest. So if we see the boots, bread, and some other leather stuff, if you fly over to this guy's house, should be the exact same stuff in the chest. Oh. Oh. I don't know what I did wrong. I think it's because the chest has a tag of random generating loot. But if you put something specific in the chest, it's not a village house chest, it should stay the same then. So, l like, let me see. If I take a chest and I load it up with some random stuff that could never naturally generate in a chest. Let's just grab like this, some of that, and some of this. Okay, cool. So, throw that in there. If we put a structure block there, and then one like right here or something. Just kind of silly. Um, we'll just call it chest. Uh, let's see. And save, actually save, does Minecraft chest, let me go try to load it in over here. Um, that should, Yo. Yeah, oh, oops, I didn't click detect, so you do need to say detect. I did for Minecraft chest, there we go, now we'll say save, and then we'll come over here with the load guy, and write chest, load, Right there, cool. See, exact same stuff. That's because there was some kind of tag or some kind of thing in the village chest that made it randomly generate. So that was like a chest that would generate in a structure. So we would do kind of like the loot stuff, if you know how the loot command works and stuff like that. Then it would kind of use that. So we'll reach in there and get that. So uh, it, it will do the same contents if it's not a, a, um, a chest from a structure. No? Said so the cat reminded me of something. So if I build a little pen for this guy, or actually we'll use a different mob since you like cats. Um, we'll take um, a cow, sure. And I'll just grab something like fly over here. Uh, we'll grab some fence for this little guy. Bit of oak fence that should be okay. We'll just make a little tiny pen. Doesn't need to be big or anything. Just so a little guy in here. Okay, so put a cow in here. Then we structure block his pen. We go up an extra block to make sure we get the cow in the thing. So I want to make sure that we structure block the cow because I'll show you something. So this one will be the corner. We'll just call it cow pen. Done. We'll go to save cow underscore pen. There we go. Detect. Yep, it's an extra block up to make sure it gets the cow in there. It's cool. And it'll save. So, now, there are a few. So, if you want to save, so I think this I was showing you. So, this is the cow in this pen. Include entities is off. So, if I go over here and do a load one and I type in cow underscore pen, 
hit load and then okay it's a good spot hit load again yep just a pen no cow but if we go over here include entities on and then save you know we do another one right here and load and we type in cow underscore pen again and then we include entities on and this also because if i keep entities off on this even if i have because if i have that off it won't load an entity so i'll turn that on also on the load hit load so a good spot and then we'll load boom see there's cow in there so entities are most wow. mobs probably so yeah all, so all mobs are entities also a few other things um arrows when they're flying through the air a splash potion is going through there kind of thing that can move also armor stands paintings and item frames are entities kind of weird i, I always think they should be blocks but whatever okay so that's just about the basics of it and i think i want to show you one more thing that if you build something so it doesn't have to be a structure and so you know it's like like i said it's a cow pen so if you build something on your own it'll work a structure it'll work lots of people want to generate structures that they can't find so pretty how we do that is we're not in an actual world that's going to have more structures since we're only in a super flat so i'll pop out of the super flat and i'll meet you guys in a non-super flat world that can have other things <laughs> Okay, just popped into a new world, and uh, already right behind us we have a village. So you could use this, but we've already shown a village. So I'm gonna do something that lots of people always want to find. So I can always die to get back here. So let me go and use this command. So we want to say locate. We can use do locate, locate. But I'm gonna say locate. So these are all the structures. So a few things like caves and stuff you can't locate. You also can't locate a dungeon, and there's a few other things, but you can use the online things for that. So let's say we want to find a mansion. That's what almost everyone wants to find with a mansion. So we'll click on that or we can type it in. So locate okay, mansion. Might take a few seconds since it's probably not a mansion anywhere nearby. 14,000 something blocks away. We either go there or do the easy way. Click and here we go. Okay, we actually are even inside a room. Cool. So vindicators and evokers. So nice little guys. Uh, let's just pop out of the mansion uh seriously guys why don't you have any like bars or something um so also another thing you should know about structure blocks is they can only do 48 blocks in each direction so i couldn't do an entire mansion but i could do like a room or something so let's say i tried to do a room or actually a mansion is probably a bad idea because way 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 too big to do this so i'll locate something else locate Desert pyramid, whatever. I think I've been called it a desert temple, but who cares? Um, okay, here you go. It's had to come back. The desert temple, um, right on top of it. Okay, cool. So, desert temple right here. It's a bit underwater y slash in the sand, but um, we can deal with that. So, we just have to put the structure block farther down, and it will probably structure in lots of the sand. Uh, Okay, how far? Gosh, yes, that's some um, kind of. No, that's, that's deeper than this. Okay. Um. Bad example again. Let's locate one more thing. Um, try to locate something we can actually use without having weird underground parts. So, how about we locate pillager post? That'd be fine. Not too far. We'll go right there. Probably going to be suffocating in a block or something. Nope. Okay. So, I'll use the command again to give Tyler a str... Oops. Spelled it wrong. Structure block. Here we go. We have a structure block again. So, this is the part that sticks out the... Fr oh, wait. The banners stick out. It technically takes up a whole block. So, go out there here and then... Right this way, right about there maybe. No, we need to go right there. Okay, cool. So, uh, just like, I'm gonna grab some sand, and then that's right there. So we'll go to the opposite corner, and then six out one block after that. Uh, we need something we can actually build with. Uh, so we grab some stone. Um, let me see. So right there, 
There, put the structure block on right. Nope, not right there. Uh, over also on this side, we need to take account for so structure block. Oops, right here. So this one, I'll do the corner. And we'll call it pillager post. We'll hit down on that guy. On this low guy, we will say, uh, oops, that I did the other one wrong, but just don't pay attention to that. Uh, pillager underscore post, probably yelling at me because you know I did it wrong. Um, let me go up here. The highest spot is like. Boom. Right out there. So we'll go up. Put the guy on right there. Oops. 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 Let me make sure. Don't mess up another time. Because I do know how to use structure blocks, guys. Um. Probably laughing. Pillager. Post. Done. There we go. Now this little guy will hit detect. Everything's in the. Yep, it looks like everything is in the post. Yep, yep. Outside too. Yeah, I think we got everything. Okay, cool. We will then save the structure and all. And if there's any pillagers in the post, which there's not, then see, like I said, also, then or we can use the entity thing I showed before to be able to have it also spawn the pillagers with it. But. Right here, it would spawn different stuff since that's a structure loot chest. Because like I did in the village, remember it spawned in different stuff in the loot chest. Now we'll type in pillager post. We'll click load for that. So I'm like an okay spot. And anything that's inside, like this little bit of sand, will just be gone. The dead bushes in there, gone forever. So make sure not to do this next to like diamond blocks or something. So we'll hit load again. Boom. Perfect. My pillager post right here. So it might have a different loot. Yeah, a bit different. The other one didn't have a bottle of enchanting, I don't think. So I do have a bit different loot each time, I think. Yeah, the other one, no bottle of enchanting. So the other one have a different loot. You can do it with pretty much any structure, portal wounds, a desert village. And yeah, so this is a cool thing. And I've hardly seen any videos about this, so I thought I would make a quick video about this because I found like maybe one video about this online. There are hardly anyone who really knows how to use these, and everyone just uses the file mode, which I find to be very hard. You have to go around your Minecraft files, unzip things, do all these random things that just takes way too long, too much time. Just I just say use locate command, locate what you want, and the structure block that, and and teleport back to where you were before. So, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and maybe I'll stop falling off pillager posts soon. Anyway, it's Ben Filer. Goodbye, guys.